Hello and welcome back to Project Cars 2 and also welcome back to the Nordschleifer in the Sesto Elemento this time so it's only the second lap of the Nordschleifer I've done on Project Cars 2 I've done a few laps on other games anyway I thought I'd take the Sesto Elemento around don't think, well this, as far as I'm aware there's not a time set for this car in real life had a quick Google of it, couldn't find anybody that's done it before. Anyway, here we go. All the driving assists on authentic as normal. Not expecting it to be amazingly, amazingly fast. Best driver in the world, okay. It's a bit slippery. Should have some nice four wheel drive. So the Sesto Elemento was built in very limited numbers based on the V10 car at the time, which was the Gallardo, obviously. Made mostly out of carbon, which of course is the sixth element Whoa. on the periodic table, which is why it's called the Sesto Elemento, which means sixth element, obviously. Ooh, a bit of air there down to fourth. Just clip the curb on the inside, and again flat out around here. So in this car obviously using the paddles for gear change is actually correct. Which is just as well because that's the only option I've got. I've got a gear stick here. Switch you on the exit there. And of course, being Project Cars 2, there's no kind of indicator of what speed you should be doing, what gear you should be in, like there is on games like Gran Turismo, trying to help you round the track. But do it all entirely from memory. This first half of the track I know relatively well. It's Once you get past the carousel, I don't know that half as well. I'm sure that section looks a bit different to normal. a bit too early there. It's cost me a little bit of time. But I'm trying, this is my first lap I've tried around here in this car. I think it's probably only the second lap I've ever done around the Nordschleife on Project Cars 2. Whoa! That wasn't good. Yeah, the first one being in the Aston Martin Vulcan. It's probably only the third lap I've done of the Nordschleife with the steering wheel actually. First one being on the Seto Corsa with the uh, Hurricane Performante, which is another V10 Lamborghini, obviously. Barely got the traction control. When you put it on authentic, trying to just balance the power nicely around here. Mm, 
along this scary flat out section that is not straight at all going around these corners knowing you shouldn't lift off but knowing you probably have to if you don't want to go on the grass whoa gentle on the power. One second, try and... Oh no, it's, it's spat me out already. Oh well, we're going around the top of the carousel then it looks like. Even going that slowly in second gear. Almost taken first gear to get this round there. Oh, that's a bit wide. Okay, so now I don't know the track as well, so my second half will be even worse than that first half as it tries to kick me off to the side into that barrier. Shifted down too early there, suddenly finding myself too high revs, which is why I kicked a bit. Oh, lap time validated. Well, I disagree that that was outside of track limits, race director. As I normally do in this game. It's so strict. Oh, that, 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 yeah. That was definitely invalidated anyway, so. I would invalidate myself for that one. Me being too eager to go flat out through there. And I need to turn in earlier than I actually do. Oh, far too much curb around there. I'm gradually improving it. A little Schleifer, but I'm still not quite there. Every time you shift down from third to second, you get that mini carousel. Oh, I almost got spat out of that as well. A bit untidy on the exit. And I should really be keeping track of my times and other cars. what my fastest actually is. I doubt it's under 8 minutes actually. Oh, that V10 absolutely roaring on the way down the straight here. Right, stay on the outside till you get right up to the barrier, lift a little bit maybe, back on the power. Didn't really need to lift but still. Down to fifth. I know you don't need to break that early, but I wouldn't fancy hitting that curve flat out. Oh no, don't put it in the barrier on the last couple of corners. Turn it in on the power. Oh ho ho ho! And it's an 8.22. So yeah, it's not going to be the fastest this car can possibly go around here, but it gives an idea. But yeah, really I should look more carefully at my previous times before I go out for a lap to see if it's actually eaten my personal best or not. But yeah, I'm sure it should, it should definitely do it sub 8 minutes. I'm not sure about sub 7 because that's a like, brand new supercar, hypercar sort of territory. I know this is a track only, I don't think it's road legal, track only special so it doesn't quite count as a production road car, which the record is 
or something. It's, it's not much under seven minutes. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this should do. Seven, probably almost a minute faster. 7.22.3 is probably a reasonable expectation for this car. But anyway, it's been fun taking it for a spin around the Nordschleife. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, like it if you have. And yeah, I might take some more cars around here on Project Cars too. Gradually getting better at the circuits and the times will improve. Anyway, for now, thank you very much for watching. As I said, like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more. I'll leave you with a bit of V10.